today we started at 6 a.m. We went out and got coffee, 140 donuts for the students, 17 pizzas for lunch. Uh, we had uh, 14 judges to feed. Um, and then throughout the day, we had 32 bands come in and check in, take them to their homerooms, warm up rooms. And you know what? The whole day ran smoothly. And that's all due to the, the students here at Ball State and the jazz program. They took care of everything. They killed it. Killed it. And of course, the night concert was a blast. It used to be called the Dimensions and Jazz Festival, and it started, some people say 1971, some say 73. I have a sign that says 71. Um, and then just recently, Larry McWilliams uh, donated some money for a scholarship, so we renamed the event the Larry McWilliams Dimensions and Jazz Festival. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how this uh, makes me feel. A couple of years ago, talk, 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 and it was a brought up that it was a good idea to uh, have a scholarship, that would I be happy to start it. And of course, Ball State is good about getting money from you. <laughs> it's been great. The band sounds amazing. Um, uh, the director, Mark, uh, has, has been incredible, uh, very hospitable. He's got a lot of stuff going on with this festival, uh, but he's been there every step of the way when I've needed him. Great students. Uh, they've really worked hard on my music. Uh, which is not very easy, uh, some of it. Um, and man, they sound really great. So I've been having an awesome time. Got to hear a few of the bands today also, uh, uh, interact with some of the students. Um, so yeah, I'm having a great time. I don't want to leave. The guest artist, Jeff Coffin. Boy, let's start out with, uh, he's an incredible human being. I mean, the nicest person and I I mean, a fantastic musician, as everyone heard. He played with Bela Flag. He plays with Dave Matthews now. And uh, he tours, he records, and he loves. He, what I'm really attracted to about him is he's passionate about uh, young, young students. And by working on the fundamentals, there is going to be a magic door that suddenly appears, and you're going to be able to walk through it. Okay? It doesn't mean you're done with fundamentals. It just means that that's allowing you to get past a certain the advice I have for young musicians is to work on fundamentals. Uh, we talked about that a lot today at the workshop, at the clinic. Um, but to be wide, to be open to things. Uh, you know, don't put any um, barriers on your learning. Um, listen, learn to listen. That's a big part of it. But find the joy. You know, whatever it is that brings you joy, do that. Do that. And do it to the highest level possible. The most important fundamental, listening. And, uh, and there's a good clue in the word listen on how to become a better listener. And that is that if you rearrange the letters, it becomes the word silent. I'm just really, really proud of my students. We have uh, 60 students in the, in the jazz part. We have three jazz ensembles, eight combos, and every single one of them came here today and worked on their first day of spring break. They stayed here and worked, so my hat's off to them. When I think about being a musician, I think of it as a service industry, that we have to serve the music first, and then we serve the musicians we're playing with second, and we serve the audience third, and so we get served by doing all of that, and I think that that's a good way of, of kind of approaching things for me. I'm not saying it's, it's the right way for everybody, but for me, um, that's what works, and I would encourage uh, the students and, and other people who are, are watching or listening to this um, to consider that also as an option. The energy in that room was incredible. And as far as like students, they come and they see our university, they come and see what we do, and hopefully they'll say, wow, I want to go there and be part of that energy.